So my name is Kaiser Salim. Online, I'm known as the Kaiser, mainly on Instagram, and I'm a vehicle concept artist. Self-taught all the way from, from Photoshop and graphic design to 3D modeling and 3D design. So I've been creating digital art like this for the last seven, eight years. Right, okay. Kaisel, what a boy. How trick does that look? And that's not real. Humble, just dead humble with it all. Camaro completely changed, renovated. Yeah, there's um, not a lot left of a Camaro. No, there, there isn't, is there isn't. You are the man. Uh, autonomous McLaren 570S concept. I'm right into what he does because it took a bit to realise that that never existed. Oh yeah, it was just an artist's impression, but it was just so good for the detail and how it was all put together. You thought, like, surely that exists. No, 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 that's just an artist's impression. Modernised and changed and adjusted and more oh, and twisted. Or carbon yeah. body cobra. Yeah, yeah. It's the way you've got your oil hoses and the oil cooler in the front. <laughs> just, you know, just like that with the Liana Dye things. That sort it's of just the little out. mechanical it details. Out. Yeah, you know? I, just, that's I, I, like. I love it. Um, this was a Toyota Corolla rally kind of car. Yeah, it's got the right mud flaps on it. It just looks right having a mud flaps, yeah. right? Got the yeah. mud flaps on you. Yeah. yeah, he'd done a bit of a render of, 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 the, of the Beetle and he, he sort of knocked that out in an hour. It's creating just something different, something we're not used to seeing, something unique, but it's also something that may inspire other people with their real world builds. Um, and I think it's why I enjoy creating these vehicles so much, just because people can't tell if they're real or not. You know, they'll look at something, it could be a slammed Ferrari or something completely crazy, an electric Porsche. And the fact that it can go from something digital to something real, I think is really special. That's why things like this get created as well. So this is another cool. project that I've been a part of. Cool. What's this? Called Moby X. This is a modern interpretation based off the Porsche 935 L. It's just a car that I love, the slant nose. Mm -hmm. And um, this is being built this year um, oh, as an all electric vehicle. Is it? Yes, does, yeah. Does the car being electric without an internal combustion engine, does it give you a bit more window of opportunity for not having to account for calling fans and ducks and all that. Yeah, sort of I mean, there's plenty of space to mess around with things. Like on you know, like a, um, it just allows you to have a lot more freedom to create something truly unique and different. He did like a Mark II Golf, and this German had seen this Mark II Golf that he'd made this render of. It's, you know, he'd never, and he's, this German was over the moon with it. He says, "I'm going to build that car," and he's built, he's built, he's built it. That's my render. That's yeah. the real car. Shit. Let's have a look at that. The render, the real car. Have I got that the right way around? Yeah. You won't be long getting confused, would you? <laughs> My word. You know, and no matter how many times it happens, it still always gets me that it, it you know, it's something that went from digital screen from here to something you can touch and drive, you know. Look at that. It's an R34 with pop-up right. headlights. <laughs> um, he's a legend. He's a legend. He's awesome. He's. Yeah, he's so down to earth. Oh, yeah. another pickup, mate. Yep. Oh my God, look at that. Look at the side pipes. He's so invested. He's got a <laughs> side pipes, mate. My God. Yeah. I love that. Uh, what love a good, weapon. Love a good, love a good pickup. He's so passionate. In the way you put like the dump valves and the wastegates and all of that, you've, you've incorporated all that shit into it. Yeah. I mean, my, my knowledge in terms of engineering is very limited, but I am, it's something I'm learning on the side just to try and better my concepts and make them more real. Yeah, so it's quite inspiring to see, really, you know, that people like that still exist and are embracing the future as well, you know. Because it's, it's, we have to, you can't stay in the past forever. You know? 